Hi there. Thanks for joining us again on this nice sunny day. My name is Erin Buck and I'm a certified personal trainer through the National Academy of Sports Medicine. Today I have Alicia, Alyssa Jetty and Thomas Simons with me um, to help us get through our outdoor workout. First movement for today is a single leg balance. All right, gang, we're gonna start off by um, just starting on our right foot. We're gonna bring that right foot up, hands out to the side on our hips. We're gonna hold for a three count, and then we're gonna bring that foot down, okay? Single leg balance, working to get a little balance movement in here to begin. Make sure you're integrating your core by drawing in your belly button and squeezing your glutes. We're gonna do six reps on this right side. Good job, gang. Three more. Hold. Two, three, good, and down. Number five. Hold. Two, three, good. One more. Keeping those chests nice and tall, shoulders are back. Good, excellent. We're gonna change and do our left hand side now. All right, gang, ready? Left hand side. Up, hold. Two, three, good, and down. And up, hold two, three, good, and lift, three to go, hold, two, three, good, notice that we have triple flexion both at the hip, the knee, and the foot, excellent job gang, two left, hold, two, three, and last rep, hold, two and three, good. Right, moving into our next movement, squat jump with stabilization. You guys ready? Okay. All right, we're gonna start by sitting back into a squat position. We're gonna load here. We're gonna explode by bringing our arms down, jumping up into the air, and then landing and holding here for that three count, okay? We're gonna stand up in between. All right, ready guys? We're gonna load, explode, Land it, excellent job, and then we're gonna stand it. And load, good. Explode, land, and stand. Nice work, guys. Load, explode, land it, and stand it. We're gonna do four more. We're gonna sit down into that squat, good. Reach up nice and tall, and squat down nice and low. Get those knees back. Behind the toes. Two more. You should feel it in those quads. Load. Explode. Land it. Good. And stand it. One more. Load. Push ups. Come on down. Get those hands shoulder width apart. Nice solid base with the feet. Here we go, gang. We got 12 reps. Let's go. Make sure to keep those abs engaged. Squeeze your glute muscles. Lead with the chest. Ten, remember we're doing 12. Down and up. Good job. Standing dumbbell row. Hopefully you have some weights. Start with low and then work your way up gradually. As things get easier, you can add more weight. So we're gonna do a standing dumbbell row. Feet are about hip width apart. Knees are slightly bent. We wanna lean forward and have a nice flat back. We're gonna to work to bring the thumbs right into the, um, towards the armpits here. We're gonna do 12 repetitions. Feel those shoulder blades retract and come together. And lengthen, good, number four. And 
one more makes 12. Excellent job. Our next movement is a dumbbell um, PNF with rotation. So you need to come down and grab one dumbbell. Again, this is a unilateral movement, so we're going to be doing six on one side and six on the other. We're going to start on that right hand side. So we're going to work to bring the arm up ex and externally rotate and then internally rotate on the way down. Almost like you're a knight and you're taking your sword into and out of your sheath. Bring it up, good, and internally rotate it back down. Knees are slightly bent. One more here, this is six. Switch sides, left left arm, here we go. Bring it up. And then turn rotate down. And up. Good, two more reps. Slow and controlled. Work on getting that good joint range of motion and mobility. Nice job. Our next exercise is squat with calf raise. Again, we're gonna be doing 12 reps. And for this, we're just gonna have our feet hip width apart. And we're gonna put our hands on our hips and we're gonna squat back. And then we're gonna come right up onto those toes. Okay, and we're gonna squat back and right up onto those toes. Good, gang. Keep your chest lifted, knees behind the toes, nice safe squat position. This is five, good. And encourage yourself to get as low as you can. Eight, good, four more guys. Right up onto the tops of those toes, last two. This is our outside intermediate workout. Um, tools that you might need, dumbbells, uh, medicine ball if you have it. You could certainly sub in um, banding or tubing if you wanted to. Um, we're gonna begin with a little bit of just core work, arms out in front. We're gonna start with just um, medicine ball rotation, making sure you're pivoting on that back leg. We're gonna do five in each direction for a total of 10. We're going to move right into some balance work. We're going to grab a dumbbell. Always starting off with a weight that's comfortable. We're going to do single leg Romanian deadlifts. Standing on one leg, you want that left foot. We're going to start with that left foot nice and grounded. We're going to bring that right foot, what we consider tabletop. So it's, it's right next to the left foot, but it's not anchored um, and not behind. We're going to start by bringing our right arm down and away from our standing position we're going to bend over at the hip reach for the outside of that left foot and then come up nice and tall okay reach again that opposite hand down towards that foot push through the heel as you come up squeeze your hamstrings and your glutes and then make sure you get that flexion or excuse me extension as you come up good we're going to do two more on this side and then we're going to switch And one more, should really be feeling this in the back of the leg, the hamstring, excuse me, in the glute area. And five. All right, gang, we're gonna switch sides, standing on our right. And let's come down. Balance. 
bounce moves can be tricky. Just stick with them and just go slow. That's how your body's gonna make the adaptation. If you're touching down, that's okay. Good, we're gonna do two more. Lengthen through the back of that leg. Nice job. Our next movement's our reactive movement. For this, we're gonna turn to the side just so you can see us a little better. I'm gonna start with that right leg forward. We're gonna do what are called lunge jumps. Arms out in front, guys. Bend down to that 90 degrees and jump and switch, right? Excellent, good. Making sure that back leg is coming down to 90. Whoops, and that's a good jump. Excellent work, gang, good. First movement is prisoner squats. Let's start by getting our hands behind the head. Remember, you're not pushing your head forward here. Clasping those hands together. Elbows are nice out, nice and wide. Feet are hip width apart. We're gonna bend at the knee and sit back. Down and up, we're gonna do 10 of these. Six, good. We've got five to go. This is more of an intermediate base workout. So we're starting with 10 rep patterns. Good, last one. And stand nice and tall. One of my personal favorites, medicine ball push-ups. We're gonna only use one medicine ball to start. Certainly as you feel like you would like a bigger challenge, you could add two. Um, or if you're feeling you're not quite ready for this, just um, take away the medicine ball and just work on those straight push-ups. All right, gang, here we go. We're gonna come down. Start with that ball on the right-hand side. Remember, we're doing 10 reps here. Here we go. Chest to the floor, then we're gonna bring the ball over to that opposite side. Okay, and down, nice work. Exhale as you come up. Last one. Walk it in. Um, single leg squat. We're gonna hold that other foot again in tabletop. And we're gonna just squat down, sitting back. And then we're gonna stand up nice and straight, okay? So bending at the knee, bringing the hips back, and standing nice and tall. We're gonna do six on each side here. Or excuse me, we're gonna do five on each side here. So one more. And then we're gonna switch sides. All right, so let's change the hand of that dumbbell, guys. Get that right, right leg ready and sit down and back. Last one, number five. Our next movement is a single leg dumbbell cobra. So let's grab those dumbbells again. Standing again on one leg, reaching those arms out. We're gonna start to work by bringing those arms out and away from our body. Shoulders are down and then bringing them back together. We're gonna do 10 reps total. At number five, we're gonna switch feet. Love those warm breezes. And one more guys, number five. Excellent job, let's switch the feet, opposite side. So the chest opening.
two left. Maintain that balance if you can. Good, nice job. Single leg scaption. For this one, you may want to start with some lighter dumbbells if you're not familiar with the movement. We're going to stand this time on our left leg. Um, we try to switch it up each time just to give both legs an opportunity to work. Um, stand nice and tall. We're going to bring those arms up at a 45 degree angle. Then we're going to depress our shoulders. We're going to feel our shoulder blades retract and come together. And then we're going to depress them downward. Good. And up. And then bring them in and down. Dumbbells are coming up to about to eye level each time. This is number four. Last one here before we switch feet. Nice job, opposite side gang. and one more to finish. Good work. All right guys, why don't you grab your weights and we're going to start by doing some walking lunges. Um, we're going to stick with doing five and we're going to do them on the same leg. Okay guys, we're going to do five statically on the right leg and then we're going to come back and do five statically on the left leg. Um, so here we go. Nice long stance. Yep. Cool. And left leg. Right leg. Good. Weights are down by our sides. So this is an advanced option for an outside program and we will be utilizing some heavier dumbbells um, in this workout. The goal is to do four sets of five of each of the activities. Um, so you do want to plan to use heavier weights throughout. Um, we are in a place where we're going to use a picnic table and some other, um, you know, or benches and things like that um, to um, act as for stepping up and things. So um, use what you have. Um, and we'll go ahead and get started. We're going to start with 30, um, excuse me, 15 mountain climbers. We're going to really work to have quick feet here. Hands down underneath the chest. We're going to start with both those feet out. Here we go, guys. Right leg first. And let's go. Good, 15 of those, and come on up. We're also gonna do some squat thrust. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn, everybody turn, bring our hands down, we're gonna get out into that full um, push-up position. What's gonna happen is we're gonna bring both of our knees, we're gonna jump towards the palm of our hands, and from that jump, we're gonna jump up into the air, okay? And feet go out behind, here we go. Knees in, and we're gonna try to make it a nice fluid movement. Eight, good, seven to go. Last three. So 
those are tough. So for our first movement, we're gonna do a side to side lunges. Sometimes if I don't have the weight twice that I want, I just add two dumbbells together and I'm gonna hold them right at my chest, okay? So we're gonna start feet together and we're gonna start by lunging out with the right hand side here, guys. Right, and we're gonna do five total, so we're gonna do five on each side. So we're gonna start with this right leg and we're gonna sit down and back, right? Feet together, opposite left, down and back. Good, we're sitting nice and low. Knees are behind the toe, we're looking good. Last one, guys. Nice job. Moving into our, our, next, our next exercise, squat jumps. We do these fast and quick. We're only doing five. Um, so the other thing to think about is that you want to be very explosive as you do these. So there's no stabilization piece. It's load, explode, and then load, explode again. All right, so here we go, guys. We're gonna go get into our half squat position. We're gonna load and explode and come down and explode. Three, arms up straight above the head. Four and five, sitting back. Nice job, good. You should feel the heart rate get up there. This is a great one for chest and triceps. We're gonna do push up with rotation. Coming down onto the floor. Here we go, we've got five reps. Push it down, good. And five, nice job guys, lock it in. We're gonna do a renegade row next. So again, coming on down to the grass. Plant those dumbbells. Everybody's got their low back supported by squeezing their glutes. We're gonna lift that left arm first, gang. And down, good, and opposite arm. Keeping the hips nice and straight. There shouldn't be any external rotation at the hip. And that's five, good, walk it forward. Tricep dips, another effective exercise. We're using the picnic table here at the park. Um, all right, gang, let's go ahead and get in position. We're gonna just do five of these, right? Both of them have their legs out into full extension and they're keeping their, basically hands back and underneath their shoulders. Nice right angle there with their arms down and up. Alyssa, can you show me a modification to make this easier for people? Just bring both legs in. A little, yeah, there you go, perfect, there you go. So just by bringing those knees in, less body weight makes it for an easier tricep dip. Our last exercise of this set is to do a step up. Again, choose those weights um, accordingly, make them heavy. We're doing five reps. Here we go, up with the right in nice high knee drive. We're standing nice and tall, chest is lifted. Good. Excellent job, he's standing nice and tall, his shoulders are back, his toes are nice and straight, focusing on that single leg lift, holding for that three count. Excellent job, Tom. Just making sure the knee isn't coming outward, I'm just gonna bring it in just slightly and then bring the foot out just a little bit so he has that nice angle, looking good. I think two. Three, good, and one more, Tom, okay? Good, excellent, I'm gonna go check out Alyssa. <laughs> the 
So as you can see, Alyssa's feet are hip width apart, which gives her a nice solid base to start the squat from. Excellent job, getting low in the squat, exploding up nice and high, making sure those heels don't come up off the ground. Good, one more, load, load, and stay. Nice shoulder blade retraction right here for Tom. He's reaching with his chest and lifting up. Nice and strong, strong arm position. Good, he's leading with the chest. Hips are nice and aligned with those shoulders. You're good. Yep. Want to keep a nice neutral spine here. Yep, looking down, Alyssa, as opposed to looking up. Good job. Bringing those elbows in close to your side. Feeling the shoulders drop and the shoulder blades come together, really focusing on that, those mid back muscles. Good job. As you can see, Tom is standing nice and tall, nice and strong. He's got great range of motion. He's able to really externally rotate at the shoulder and then internally rotate back down. He's keeping his core nice and tight, drawing in that belly button. Alyssa has strong legs because she's really able to get down there. A great thing to do is to put a bench or a picnic table if you're outside. Something, give yourself a, a distance to kind of attain as you're doing your squat. Weights into those heels as she's squatting back. As you can see, well, you can't see, but I can see. Alyssa has her, her hands interlocked. But they're not actually pushing this forward. They're just there as a guide. So she's really able to stand tall through the squat. She's keeping her chest and level and her hips up. She's doing a great job. Knees and toes are, knees are falling behind the toes. Toes are nice and straight. Perfectly executed prisoner squat. Nice job. really important to have the ball go right underneath the chest line. Nice job. So remind yourself that there is really, you certainly can compensate or cheat your way through this. But the most important thing is that as you bend the knee that you really push your weight back into your heel. So even if you only go a quarter of the way, that is better than having that knee come over the toe. So make sure, again, that you're sitting back and form is the most important factor here. And then really work on strengthening those legs so that you can get the deeper squat. You can always modify. So for those of you who are having a tough time standing on one leg, you always can put that foot down and stay, you know, just with two feet doing this activity. It's up to you. Oh, thank you for showing the modification, Tom. Good. Externally rotating those arms, keeping that chest open. Keys, you don't want to make the weight too heavy where you feel like that neck is you know, moving forward in efforts to get those arms back. So keeping the head nice and neutral. Good work. The 
only one change I would make here is just that Alyssa keep her hands more in that candlestick position so that as her arms come up. Woo! <laughs> Good job. And then straight job. Shape. Nice. Yeah. So just like with our squats, we, we're making sure that we're protecting the knees here by making sure that the knees are always falling behind the toe. Good. And she's getting a little bit of a longer lunge. It's allowing her, her glutes and her hamstrings to be a little bit more helpful. If the lunge was a little shorter, she'd be mainly working her quadriceps. So good full body movement here. Good, and pushing off that heel. Excellent job. All right. Don't let that inside leg cave in, Tom, okay? So really extend the leg, so almost lock it out. Okay, keep your toes nice and straight. Much better, that looks 100% better than it, than it was. Trying to keep the toes both nice and straight. Nice job, good. Alyssa's reaching her arms straight up towards the sky using those arms to help propel her, give her some nice vertical. Good, weights in the back of those heels, right Alyssa? Awesome, good job. Now if you're just starting off doing this push up with rotation option, know that you don't have to go all the way down. You're still gonna recruit the same muscles even if you're doing just half of the push-up, okay? Tom, maybe you can just show them what a half a push-up looks like, just half. Awesome job. Really important to have your hands underneath your shoulders, okay? She's working really hard to stabilize her core, bringing the elbows back. Want to show us an advanced version, Tom? Okay. I don't know. Good job, guys.